Hey, what's going on? Builders Krosama here, and we're finally doing an analysis video on the Artemis. So I know this has been a heavily requested kit to review, uh, but you know, I want to take my time with it. So hey, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the overall design first. So by default, obviously we know it doesn't have the satellite cannon, but what you get is actually a really cool nifty design, a good mixture between the Destiny Gundam as well as the X Gundam. Uh, both suits I actually really do like, and it has a really nice color scheme, uh, more keen to the actual X Gundam than what it is to the Destiny, uh, but I think it looks really good overall. Now this is going to be a default two star, so there's two places you can actually get these parts at. If you go into the shop and you go to Capital Shop, sometimes if you're really lucky, you can get one of these parts, or maybe even two, drop right here in the shop and you can just buy them outright. And also you can get it in the friend capsule. Um, the percentage is going to be really low, like the drop rates are like less than 1%. Uh, but I think for the most part, it's really good to still pull on this, just that way you can sell the one star parts that you get. And if you do get a two star Artemis part, hey, that's pretty good, but uh, overall this is a good way to just sell a lot of parts to get some more capital. Now you do get this kit, um, I think in chapter 5 of the story mode, so if you just play the story mode like normally, you'll just get this kit outright, so that's actually really good and very generous, and before, this was a very underwhelming suit, it just really didn't have much of the stats, even the EX skills, whether before or now, are very underwhelming. Uh, but they did do a buff a few weeks ago, and this kit really performs ex like pretty pretty well to be honest. So let's take a look at the head first. The overall attribute of the mobile suit is going to be power, so it is going to be weak to speed, but it is going to be able to overcome technique. So just keep that in mind whenever you go into battles. Now we're looking at the stats. One key thing you're going to you're gonna really notice uh, with all these different parts is that the melee and shot defenses are going to be pretty high and much higher than, like I would say, the average uh, default 4-star, in fact. And this one in particular, the shot attack is super high. And just keep in mind, this is a default 2-star, so this well exceeds pretty much all 3-stars and really rivals a lot of default 4-stars. Now in terms of EX skills, this one is going to have more Vulcans, so it's a physical shot, D minus D, first time 5 seconds, it's pretty much going to be a really quick cooldown, uh, but you're going to fire those Vulcans, and you're going to be lowering your hit, uh, you're going to be lowering the hit enemies, Gumpas, melee, and shot defenses by 14%, so pretty much like you have for every other uh, mobile suit that has Vulcans on the head, uh, but one th key thing about this one in particular is that it's going to be, I say it's, it's fairly easy to level up because by default, I already have mine at 5, and I do have a couple of other head parts that I'm waiting, so whenever I do uh, power this up to the next level or tune it up, I'll be able to go ahead and power up the uh, Vulcans as well. So we'll take a look at the body. Uh, this is going to have some really, really, really good defenses, and you're just really seeing a trend that this is a borderline defensive type mobile suit probably leaning more towards defender but it does have a lot of shooting kind of like attributes and we'll go ahead and get into that near the end but it does have an ex skill this one is going to be breast beam vulcan beam shot piercing whoop, pokemon go stop piercing d power c cool down 21 seconds first time six seconds fi uh, fire four with beam vulcans in your chest <sighs> not really good this is very much the weakest uh, ex skill that it's going to have um, honestly, I, as much as I love the aesthetics of the body and the word tags are actually really good, um, I don't know. I would probably have to say that it's just really not that great. So maybe switch it up with something else. Something else is going to have the pro tag, uh, word tag, because that's something that's really going to play a big factor in this mobile suit. Uh, but the stats are really good. The stats are solid, but probably replace that with a different EX skill or replace it with something that's going to have a better trait. So we're taking a look at the arms. These stats are going to be really good, but the reason that a lot of these defenses are going to be so high is because it's combined with the shield. So you cannot actually equip a shield onto this uh, mobile suit if you have these arms equipped. But, you know, even the melee attack is not going to be super high. It is going to be a little bit lacking in comparison to something like the Barbatos or even the Red Frame Stray's arms. Uh, but I would say overall, it's still not going to be a bad unit. It's going to have some really good word tags that you can play with. But what it does lack in some stats, it's going to make up for with this EX skill. So with this EX skill, it is the Palma Fioncina <laughs> Beam Cannon. I, 
Man, I'm, that was tough to read. Uh, but category is going to be Beam Shot. You're going to have Piercing B+, plus, Power C-, minus, Cool Down 60 seconds first time, 15 seconds. Turn both palms forward to bathe foes in high output beams. So what it does, it takes um, the little, like, little boomerang on its arm. Uh, it basically hits the enemy, stuns them, and then with the, uh, the little, like, I don't know if you could really see it on the uh, on here, but on the back, it's going to have like these little beams. So it'll fold its arms and shoot these high power beams, and I'll showcase it. Um, and you probably have already been using it, honestly, uh, but I will showcase it. It really does some pretty decent damage. Um, and combining this with some other like traits as well as weaponry that's going to boost it, that's just going to make it so much better. And it's not necessarily AOE. But it, it does hit everything that's within that line of fire. So if you do manage to get uh, a bunch of you know enemies in a row, it's going to do some pretty damn good damage. Um, and you know B plus and C minus is not bad whatsoever. So um, I really do actually like this EX skill, and this is something I would definitely keep. Now we take a look at the legs. Uh, the legs are pretty much average. It's still going to have some really good defenses, but this is kind of something you see along the lines of more uh, default four stars. But it is going to have a parts trait. 11% chance not to recoil and what recoil is is kind of like when you are flinching so this is a good opportunity to like pretty much use this trait and if you do have the chance to not flinch whenever you're getting hit by like a beam or something like that um, you can definitely keep pushing through and then just hit the enemy with some good melee attacks um, so this is actually a really good trait I kind of really would prefer to buff up my overall defenses than to not recoil. Uh, but this is still a really good trait. Now we're looking at the backpack. So it's going to have some good armor. It's going to have some good defenses. Obviously the melee attack and shot attack is going to be pretty low. But let's take a look at that trait. Buff EX skill effect up 12%. Now this is a weird... It's really weird to have. Because this does not have a buff EX skill on it. it. It has two attacking, well, technically three attacking, uh, but the Vulcans aren't technically a buff. It's just an attack that has a secondary effect. So buff EX skill effect would be something like the Sumo Head that increases your melee attack or the Tall Geese 2 Head. That's something where this would play an effect. But, you know, I don't understand why this is on this mobile suit in particular. So if you have maybe like the X Divider backpack or another like really good uh, backpack, even the new Gundam, I would definitely switch this out for, you know, something that's just going to be a little bit better. So we're taking a look at its melee weapon. It's going to be a blade type of weapon. This is, I just consider it a, uh, a ship destroyer. It's much like the Destiny's weapon uh Actually, it looks exactly like the Destiny's weapon. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. I love this weapon. Its uh, animation within the game is actually really damn cool. Uh, the melee attack is going to be fantastic at 3,175, pretty much on par with the Maze, the Barbatos, uh, Sword, multiple other high tier uh, melee weapons. So this is going to be really good. But let's take a look at that trait. So the trait being melee damage output boosted by 15. Not really good. So. Each individual hit is just going to add an extra 15 damage to that hit. I just don't think it's really that great. Uh, and it's only melee. It's not just damage output. If it was just damage output and maybe even combined with the EX skill, I think it would be a little bit better. But for the most part, melee damage output, yeah, this is it's a great melee weapon just for raw stats. But when it comes to the trait, eh, yeah, you can definitely pass on this. Now for its beam rifle, the beam rifle stats are really good, like really, really good for a two star. But these parts traits, man, shooting damage output boosted by 15. A little bit better than the melee damage uh, being boosted. Uh, shooting damage, I think, is just a little bit better. But man, that's such a bad trait. Something you could really switch this out with something way, way better. Something to possibly support its defenses or something that's going to support the EX skills. Um, but yeah, this is like a big just miss for me. Like I don't, I'm not really feeling this whatsoever. Now you're probably wondering what pilots can you possibly use for this mobile suit because obviously you are the main protagonist and you don't really have your own self as an AI pilot. So what you do have, you have Christina. Um, I think she's pretty good. She's going to be a mid-range shooter. So if you really want to focus on the shooting aspect in which this mobile suit can, you know, pretty much do anything. It could be a defender, it could be an infighter, uh, it could be a you know, range uh, attacker. 
It can even be a support, but the key thing is what traits is going to be coming with these pilots. So I I like her because of the fact that with power attribute, which your mobile suit will be, EX skill piercing boosted 28%. So if you remember your ultimate um, EX ability, the one that is for the arms, that has a C- in piercing. Increasing that even further with the B plus power rating is going to make that a really, really good EX skill overall. So... She may have uh, a lack of like the attack stats, but she does have some really good defenses, and that's just going to contribute over to uh, your overall defenses for the mobile suit. Now, this is going to be a defender-type AI that I am probably going to be using with this mobile suit, but Mikazuki, he is going to be a monster. I mean, the defenses are really good, uh, but man, that melee attack and shot attack is going to be fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, obviously the armor is super super lacking, but this mobile suit already has great defenses So to kind of like balance a lot of things out, um, you know, it already has great defenses But it kind of lacks a little bit in some of the uh, the attacking areas Especially with the arms so increasing that melee and shot attack is going to be fantastic But with power attribute self initial EX skill charge boosted 20% That's actually a really good part straight Especially if you're going to use something like the maze or even last shooting as your main weapon so if you really just want the opportunity to like you know capitalize on some ex skills in the beginning of a match having mika with like a mace with a last shooting and the arms as your main ex skills you're going to be doing some good some really damn good work in the arenas and also he is going to have pro tag so if you are worried about you know having the pro tag as your as your word tag uh messing around with your suit you probably still be able to have it because mikazuki is going to have it and every other part is going to have it as well and to just continue showing you some more pilots, uh, Dozo Zabi, he's also going to be a defender type. And with his parts trait, with power attribute, EX skill piercing boosted 22. So, hey, this isn't too bad. Uh, honestly, this is a really good defender as well if you want to focus a little more on the piercing side. Um, so, you have a lot of options. And I'm just kind of going more towards defender because I think this mobile suit is really going to be capitalizing more on the defender side uh, than it would a range side or even in, in fighter. Especially... Definitely not a supportive type. I don't think this this suit should not be a supportive um, or you know anything close to that because most supportive types are going to be techniques. So yeah, I, I personally wouldn't recommend it. All right, so here we go. I'm just pretty much shows a uh, an easy hard mode. All right, so we got the Vulcans right here. All right, next, and that's going to be the chest Vulcans. Now let's go ahead and use the arm EX skill. And it's going to, you know, I, I think it's a really good skill overall. You really can't flinch out of it, uh, to my knowledge. So it's pretty much like an EX finisher. And that's going to be the ultimate swing. So um, definitely going to do one more match. All right, so jumping right in. Uh, just kind of doing a little maneuverability. Man, I just, I really love this sword though. I think that sword is just badass. We got some Vulcans. So yeah, this EX skill for the chest, I think is just really, really bad. I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't like it like at all. And we're gonna do our ne next EX from the arms. Man, it just looks so solid. Love the way it looks. Mmm. But it's just a really cool mobile suit in my opinion. Like it may be just me. Ooh. Oh, he did he doing some work. Alright, got him. But I mean it's just it's a it's a solid mobile suit. I don't like I know some people like try and trash it because of the fact that it is a default two star, but I mean hey, it has good stats. Alright guys, so I know I normally do like a little like mixture or hey, like a little edit and custom. But this one's just really versatile, so I'm I'm not gonna be doing that in this episode. Plus, it's about midnight, and I really wanted to you know try and get this video done and uh, head to bed. But you know, do, doing an overall analysis on this thing, it is a solid, solid mobile suit. Obviously, the weaker points are going to be um, I would say the backpack, the sword, and the gun. Those three items. If you just replace those with something else, you're gonna be golden. Um, definitely replace the body as well. Like I'm not saying the EX ability is like the worst EX ability out there. But look, I'm gonna show you something. 
You could easily go with the Gundam body. It is going to have the Pro Tag, so you're not going to have to worry about losing that. Uh, but also, it's going to have, with Saber Category equipped, melee power boosted 18%. Now, that's not going to work for the already equipped weapon, because that's technically a blade. A Saber is going to be something like a Beam Saber. Um, it has, like, the little, you know, Beam Saber icon. Now, let's say you did want to actually keep your, your blade for whatever reason. Hey, go ahead and equip the X Divider. So, if you look right here... Nothing really changes too much a uh, little little bit of a design change But for the most part hey, you really could not notice it right off the bat just change the entire color scheme uh, But yeah, if you want to get an increase in your strong damage output I mean hey you got it right there and here's another one So when attacking with physical strong melee power boosted 18% well strong melee power is going to be boosted 18% uh, so you have choices guys even um, I would say the I think it was the Aegis so if you are going to the uh, more defensive route, go with the Aegis Gundam. When armor is 40% or more, shooting damage taken reduced by 8. It's not horrible. You can definitely reduce some of the damage that you are taking from any kind of you know outside sources. Uh, I mean, even the new Gundam, when attacking with beam, shooting power boosted 17%. This thing is going to be versatile. I mean, just changing one item such as the body, replace that horrible EX skill. Well, I won't say horrible, but that really bad EX skill with a really, really good trait in your collection. But obviously, it depends on if you have anything that's going to be good. Um, even the Blitz Gundam with the uh, Colloid uh, EX ability, that's going to be a lot better to use. But hey, guys, that's pretty much it for me. I don't, I don't really want to go through all the entire list of what you could possibly replace these uh, parts with. But just try and experiment a little bit. Like I said, I'm going with a defensive route because that's going to be my role once the raids uh, start rolling out. So... I don't know. I really want to be a tank, and I think Artemis is going to be a really good contender for that. And if you can, like this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Let me know in the comment section below exactly what mobile suit you'd like to see get analyzed next. I'm going to try and do the event mobile suits as soon as I can. And then afterwards, uh, later on in the week, I'll do you know one that's going to be requested by the viewers. So let me know what you want to get uh, pretty much analyzed in the comment section below. And I'll definitely try to get to that. But that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next Gundam Battle Gumpla Warfare video. Bye-bye.